Nika. Alright, y'all. Uh, we finna spill this tea with Nika. Hope y'all got y'all cups ready. So, I was scrolling on social media earlier this week, and I came across um, something interesting to me. Uh, Scrappy and Mama D. You know, he was <clears throat> telling her how he felt um, growing up as a child. You know, telling her, you know, he grew up in a trap house and, you know, and what whatever happened to him as a child, he brought that into his current relationship. So, I want to say that Mama D didn't look too like interested to me then this is my opinion it's like she didn't wasn't accountable for her you know for how he felt you know what i'm saying like she didn't you ask me yeah yeah D you well, me did I... you did you hear you didn't okay, see okay so did come you? on now baby you know as well as anybody i don't i don't well i know about childhood trauma i don't do the I, well, you... childhood trauma yeah <clears throat> but i don't know the story right I'm, well, I know I'm know. saying from your perspective, like it's growing up, you know, how did you feel or were you able to talk to your mom about your your childhood past well, now, and you then know, my childhood be was able a to traumatic too. To I, be <laughs> I'm being honest, so I, you know, I, <laughs> but, but did she but did you ever speak with her about it? You know, and then she act like she was interested in listening to what you were saying, that she kinda hold herself accountable and respect how you felt about the situation. See, that's how I feel. Like, if you a parent and you listening to your child or your grown adult now and they telling you how they felt back then, I believe you need to show some type of emotion. And, you know, I respect that, you know, but... Well, this... number one, you're an adult now. So anything that... I, I, you asked my opinion, yeah, 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 so yeah, I'm going to yeah, share yeah. it with you. True, his feelings are valid, but hers are too. I, I, she, as a mother, she may, I'm sure she feel like she did the best that she could. And most parents do. Like, I felt that too. You know, too. I, I, I ain't leave you nowhere. I fed you. I made sure you had a roof over your head. It's hard out here. It, it was hard enough just to survive and thrive and, and get you to where you are. So, I mean, that should account for something. Maybe that's how she feels about it. I'm just, just yeah, you know, I get that too. You know, from the parent, parental side, you know, we all learn we do we do that you know parenting does not come with a manual it does not it does not uh, you know we do the best that we can you know we'll get more into parenting <laughs> you, you done jump you done jump topic so me but i thought you were spending tea you done no, turn no, no, parents or something some tea. I'm just, you know it just <laughs> always seems to go that route when you're talking about a situation you always end up on parenting or life, real life situations, even though you're talking about somebody else's situation. I feel like that's because every situation involves an element of real life. Right. You know, um, yeah. So, so if I understood what so, happened in this, he brought, he brought trauma. To, to me, he was, basically, he was telling him, telling her about, her, about the trauma that he had as a child. And she showed no emotions. Like, it is what it is. It was, that's what it was. Period. Okay, like well. she didn't acknowledge it, so my thing is just acknowledge, you know, and and listen and open, open up that communication with your child, you know, and let them know that their feelings are valid. But tell you know at least tell them you well, know I did what I had well, to hold do. Hello, hello. I hear what you're saying, but are we talking about a grown man? We're talking about a grown man. It doesn't matter. So, uh, well, it kind of does. It kind of does. Well, I mean, you know, maybe it do. Yeah. Okay, so, so, so what you're saying is your feelings aren't valid as an adult? Yes, they are. But you're talking about the trauma that he was subjected to as a child. That, as a child, he, he and he affects now him he, today. Exactly. That's what we're saying. Well, right. of course, I can be accountable for it as a parent, but damn, what can I do? It's done. We heal. Can we move forward? You I'm ask not, me yes, my opinion. I'm saying show some accountability and tell them that, okay, I'm not I emotional. acknowledge I'm you not about emotional. that. Not emotional. You know, I just, 
Okay. <laughs> you know what? Hey, y'all got tea from Nika, man. She got her feet. I got mine. You know, she felt like moms should show some compassion. Moms and dads are different. We'll definitely dive into stuff like that yes. here on the emptiness to show. So y'all just got a taste of it, man. We just spilled some tea with Nika, man. We're going to yes, take a small yes, yes. Uh, music break. When we come back, when we come back, we got our Black Owned Business Spotlight. We got a success talk. We yep. still got our topic of the day, y'all. How to make relationships ships last how to make them work so hey man listen y'all locked in with the empty nesters stay tuned man we gonna have a good time today y'all